in the conference. This call is being recorded. Your line is muted. Good evening, everybody. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we come to you this day thanking you for another blessed day. Lord, we thank you for taking care of us, bringing us through hard trials and tribulations. Lord, you didn't have to do it, but you did. Lord, you woke us up this morning in our right mind, and we thank you. We give you the honor, glory, and praise. Lord, I pray we learn to lean and trust on you with our whole heart and mind and release the spirit of doubt and fear when we face the test uh, and trial, not lean to our own understanding. Lord, help us to run and not get weary. I pray we walk in love each day. Please continue to lead and guide us with your Holy Spirit. Please, Lord, heal this land. I ask a special blessing on our church family, the sick, shut in, and bereaved family, and bless our pastor and family, Reverend Dubai. Lord, you know our needs and you know all about it. Lord, you said it would be time like this. You said the ways would be, it wouldn't be easy. But Lord, give us strength to go on in your name. Heavenly Father, I ask you to look down on our little children. Heavenly Father, throw your arms around and give them strength to go on and do the right thing. Lord, I pray pray that we walk in the path of righteousness when there is so much sin running around us each day. Lord, bless all the sick and and the shut in, the names that were called, Lord. Let them know that you hadn't forgot them. Lord, let them know that you have all power in your hand. Let them know that you ha- you can do anything but fail. Lord, we are trusting in your holy and righteous name. You are God that never takes a vacation. You are God that always on your job. You is a God that sees all we do and hear all we say. And, Lord, I just want to thank you for bringing me thus far. Lord, I know where you brought me from. And I thank you. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you for your bountiful blessing. Thank you for your grace. Thank you. These blessings I ask in your name for Christ's sake. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you for getting us started this afternoon. Thank you so much. All right, Deacon Vernell Sanders, if you're on the line, we turn it over to you. Deacon Sanders, are you there? Yes, I'm here, Reverend Tobias. Good afternoon, Reverend Tobias. To you, you, my Zion family, and, and all that are participating in the prayer Dear Father God, we praise you when life is easy, and we praise you when life is hard. Through the difficult seasons of our lives, we know you are the same loving God you have always been. Father, you see us in our struggles and our anguish when we suffer. God, this world is full of pain and heartache, but you will make all things right again one day. We hang our hope in Jesus Christ, who died to save us, to wash us with forgiveness and restore us to right. May our daily pursuits of holiness 
grow at the speed of light, Father, through hardship, naturally draw us to the feet in urgency, Father. Let us come before you always and every day, no matter what we face. Father, today we pray for everyone in the world suffering from a disease they did not contract, but now it affects every page of their lives. Father, we pray for everyone undergoing diseases that unfairly uproot everyday life as we know it. Hardship is a part of enduring this life on earth. Father, we know this, but we can't stand on our own two feet without you when hard times happen, God. Father, we know this, that we can't stand again, like I said, on, on, on our two feet. Without you, we need you, God. We don't have the strength apart from you to stand up under the weight of the world which presses upon us. Lord, bless our lives with growth and gain in our walk with you. Let us come closer to Christ each day we live. So even in the dire strait, we do not forget your goodness, God. You are worthy, God, of your, of your praise. You are worthy of our whole heart. Remove any distractions from our lives and help us to focus on you and your truth. Father, we know not every one you created is walking in your light at all times. Help us to forgive forward, God. Let us forgive those who come against us and unfairly plot against us. Father, give us the strength to forgive those who don't know the bite of their words and the insensitive of their questions. Help us choose not to be offended and instead look to Jesus the author and perfecter of our faith. We were once a mess too, Father, before we turned our lives over to you completely. Help us to remember when we were lost so we can have compassion for those who do not know us, who do not know you, God. That our everyday lives and all the hardships we endure bring honor and glory to your name. God, we pray for our congregation. We pray for our church. We pray for our pastor, God, and his family. And God, we thank you for each and everything that you do for us every day. These things we pray in the name of your Holy Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you, Deacon Sanders, as well. All right, third individuals we have today, Deacon Vernell Fleming. If you're on the line, Deacon Fleming, uh, we turn it over to you at this time. Yes, I'm here. Good evening to all who are listening. I'm not church family. Father Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, my father. Oh, God, I come to you, Heavenly Father, in a humble heart, Heavenly Father. As humble as I can, Heavenly Father. Thank you for another day, Heavenly Father. Oh, God, I thank you, Heavenly Father, for laying me down last night, Heavenly Father. Early this morning, Heavenly Father, you took me with your finger in love, Heavenly Father. My eyes sprung open. I saw a brand new day. Then, Heavenly Father, I thank you for giving me the strength, Heavenly Father, to, to, to get out the bed, Heavenly Father. I thank you, Heavenly Father, for giving me the strength to move, Heavenly Father. We lie, Heavenly Father, somebody laid, laid down last night, Heavenly Father. Didn't have the strength to get up, Heavenly Father. Somebody laid down last night, Heavenly Father. Made the transition to old glory land, Heavenly Father. But Lord, with your mercy and grace, Heavenly Father, you gave me one more time to come on Heavenly Father and praise your holy name. I mean, I thank you for the opportunity, Heavenly Father. Oh God, we need you right now. We can't get along without you, Heavenly Father. Oh Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, make us be aware of your grace and your mercy, Heavenly Father. With a thankful heart, let us show forth our praise, not only with our lips, Heavenly Father, but through our lives, Heavenly Father. Let our light shine, Heavenly Father, for others to could, could, could see our good work. Oh, Lord, we need you, Heavenly Father. Lord, cover us with your blood. Grant us salvation in your name, oh, God. 
that of Heavenly Father. Know that Heavenly Father, that you are a merciful God. Heavenly Father, without you, we can't do anything, Heavenly Father. Now, Heavenly Father, I, I, I pray for the ones that have been called on the, on the sick on the sick line, Heavenly Father. Oh, Heavenly Father, we, we know, Heavenly Father, you are a healer, Heavenly Father. You can do all things, Heavenly Father. You can you can heal when your doctor walk away from the bed, Heavenly Father. You know, you always have the last say, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, I pray for one who has lost a loved one, Heavenly Father. No one, Heavenly Father, if they have, have been transmitted in, in, in your name, Heavenly Father, they will have an eternal life. Oh, God, look at him, Heavenly Father. Lord, Heavenly Father. Lord, I pray for my sin, Heavenly Father. I pray for our sin, Heavenly Father. Please uh, forgive us when when uh, when uh, uh, we become short and uh, short coming, Heavenly Father. But Heavenly Father, the devil is always around. He comes through and forth, Heavenly Father, seeing who he can devour. But God, you got the mercy, you got the grace, you got the power, Heavenly Father, to to keep to keep him at bay, Heavenly Father. Oh God, please uh, look at him, mercy, Jesus. We need you, Heavenly Father, through and through every day, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, you, you, are you protected? But, from seen and unseen danger, Heavenly Father. We don't know what, what the day holds, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, but you know. Heavenly Father, you hold us in your hand, Heavenly Father, and you comfort us, Heavenly Father, when we're in distress, Heavenly Father. Oh, God, we, uh, we pray for the homeless, Heavenly Father. We pray to, uh, for the one, Heavenly Father, who have a mind problem, Heavenly Father, who are, who are, are, are confused, don't know which way to go, Heavenly Father. But, God, you, we know, Heavenly Father, you got them also. Lord, please uh, look at how much of Heavenly Father. Lord, I pray for this city, Heavenly Father. I pray for all the youth, Heavenly Father, who and, and this crime that is, that is running rapid, Heavenly Father. Lord, please uh, uh, bring them, Heavenly Father. Let them work out their trouble and, and their and their problem, Heavenly Father, without grabbing a gun, a, a knife, or whatever, Heavenly Father, to cry. Lord, Heavenly Father, we know, Heavenly Father, when that bullet come out, Heavenly Father, it's gone, in, and, it, and it, they cannot bring it back, Heavenly Father. Lord, look at him, boys. The Heavenly Father, we pray for one who have lost a, a fundamental to the bottom, Heavenly Father. Give them comfort, Heavenly Father. Build them up, Heavenly Father. Realize, Heavenly Father, that that uh, you have all mercy. You are the a merciful God. Heavenly Father, you are our Lord. So look at him with them all, Heavenly Father. Lord, we need you, Jesus. We can't get along without you, Heavenly Father. Oh, God, look at him with them. I'm, I'm the one that's over there in oh, in uh, 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 that, uh, in that wall, Heavenly Father, over there, Heavenly Father, that is that is dying every day, Heavenly Father. Please are looking how much on, on those people. We know that Jesus, that you over, that you all over here, you everywhere, Heavenly Father, and you are and you are the power, Heavenly Father. Continue to guide us, Heavenly Father. Build us up when we fall down, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, keep us on the on the path of righteousness. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. <clears throat> Amen, amen. Thank you, Deacon Fleming, for uh, being that third individual uh, on today. As we continue in prayer, uh, God, our Father, we have so much to thank you for on this day, God. We thank you for your power, God. We thank you how you at work in our lives on a daily basis, even when we don't see it or can't sense it, God. We thank you for your goodness and, and even the blessings that you bestow upon us. Thank you, God, for always being able and willing to help us during those tough moments and times in our life, strengthening us for, for for the purpose of fulfilling your will and carrying out your word. Thank you for being that type of God. Now, God, we thank you for the word that we have heard on today, reminding us that we should remain focused and, and intentional in that which we do, God, I pray that all of us continue to remain on the right track, God, doing uh, your will so that we can, too, say what the Apostle Paul says, that we are uh, we have finished our course and we have kept the faith. And we know because of that, God, that we will receive a crown of righteousness. God, we pray for all of those names that have been called, listed on the prayer list, prayer requests. They are requesting prayer. God, sometimes it seems like things are getting worse and not better. But even in the midst of that, God, you 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 share with us in a, in your word, and it's during those difficult seasons in our lives that you are always present, and that we should trust you the most. So, God, even in the midst of so much sickness and and death, God, we trust you with our lives because you know more about us than we know ourselves, God. So I I pray, God, for each name that was called this afternoon, God, each family uh, that may have been represented various names, God, I pray 
that you will continue to strengthen them, God. I pray that you will touch sick bodies, those who may be in the hospital, those who may be at home, wherever they may be. It doesn't matter, God, because we know that you are uh, uh, all present, God. So I ask God that you would touch bodies even right now while we're on the phone and and call it on your name, God. We know you're able to do it because that's what your word says. Not just those who are sick and studying, God. I pray that you will comfort those who are bereaved, those who have lost loved ones, God. In times such as this, we need a savior and we need the security, knowing that you are right there. God, I pray for our young people, even while they're out of school this summer, God. I pray that you will continue to convict them of their wrongdoing. So much crime is on the rise. And God, I just pray that you will cause individuals to see the value, the importance of human life. And God, the only way that would happen is they uh, uh, find themselves becoming closer to you. So I pray, God, that you will strengthen all of us spiritually, allow us to grow stronger and closer to you on a daily basis. God, allow us to see progress made in our lives allow us to see growth in our lives because of our relationship with you. God, we thank you for the wonderful Vacation Bible School we had this week. And God, we just pray that at least one person, one individual was influenced or impacted in a positive manner just so that they can uh, share with someone else that which they learned or what was taught to them. God, I pray for our church family. Thank you for uh, how you have been a blessing, how you've been blessing us. God, I pray that you will continue to minimize any distraction, any confusion that may be uh, creeping in to your place, God, I pray, uh, because we realize and recognize that you are a God, not of division, but you are a God of unity. And then, God, I even pray for our visitors, those who call in on a regular basis, participating in Bible study and Sunday school and prayer meeting. I pray for them as well, God, because uh, we are all in this together. The body of Christ, we are we are all one body, just different parts of different members, but we are all one body. So, God, I pray uh, for the body of Christ in its totality, God. Strengthen all of our churches, God. Strengthen us so that we can be that church you called and commissioned us to be. God, I pray for the leadership throughout this city, this country, this nation. Uh, various elections have taken place and gone forth, God, I pray that you have uh, put a place, those individuals in position that you would have to be there so that the greatest impact or change could be made throughout this country. God, we pray for those who are homeless, those who are uh, outdoors, those who may not have uh, uh, a roof over their head. God, I pray in the name of Jesus that you would even provide for them as well. Why? Because we know that you are God who will provide for your people. Thank you for being good. Thank you for being our God. As we thank you for salvation that we've all experienced, many of us experienced through Jesus Christ our Lord. And then, God, if there are any among us who do not have a relationship with you, if there are any among us who are not saved, God, I pray that you would convict them and allow them to see the importance of having that conversion experience. So then when you summon for us, when you call our name, we will be ready to meet and greet you in that great city. You are our God, you are our strength, and you are our Redeemer. And there's no greater experience one could ever have than to be in your presence throughout eternity. Continue to forgive us of our sins and keep us in your care. In Jesus' name I pray, amen, amen. Listen, thank you all so much again for taking time out of your schedule on this Thursday to call and be a part of our midday prayer. Know that we are praying with you, we are praying for you, and I'm just foolish enough to believe that God can and He will answer our prayer. Listen, this coming Sunday, first Sunday in July, the Lord has seen fit. If He allows us this coming Sunday, the first Sunday in July, uh, we will be having our communion services. So we invite you to come out and receive the Lord's Supper. And then at the nine o'clock hour, another great Sunday school lesson. Until Sunday morning at 9, listen, I pray that the grace of God be with you and that he forever keep you in his care. Have a great rest of the day. Bye-bye.